Last time on Sea of Stars. They haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are. Word will be a walk in the park. <sighs> Let's see them off then. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Sea of Stars, episode two. We are barely into this game. Hello, my name is Corey with Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. A huge shout out to those of you watching these videos in the premieres. Let's get crackalacking, friends. We got a lot to do. So in the last episode, we started up Sea of Stars. If you haven't seen that yet, be sure to click on the video that should be showing up in the right Right hand corner should also be in the description of Shivigio. And we have Zale and Valerie as they head on their way to become the Solstice Warriors and gain the Elder Mist blessing. So let's go ahead and go to our first real dungeon of the game. The Forbidden Cavern, which we were here at the very beginning. Uh, but uh, well, Garl lost an eye and then we had to go back home. There's some mysteries happen, friends. Mysteries. Sure feels easier now. This time we make it through. And no one loses an eye. And of course we have just some of the most beautiful music. We're just, we're just jumping right into the game, friends. It is important that we do that. Look at how, oh my gosh, I just can't believe every time I start this game, all of the pixels, they all have movement to them. There's like something happening with all of it. It's just, it's so nice. So anyways, we'll find that there's a door here that we can't proceed. So let's go through this passageway, which is going to bring us into a new chamber here. Look at the shadows on exquisite, y'all. This game is exquisite. Let's go ahead and pop over here and see if we can, yeah. Let's get right into a fight as soon as we start the video. I think we could do that. We're gonna go ahead and just hit with our boy Zale here. Try to see if we can get rid of the lock there that's on this enemy. We'll go ahead and use her crescent arc here. Taking out one of the slugs. Oops! Didn't defend. There we go, got it successfully, let's go. Looks like we have two slashing that we're gonna have to do here. Luckily, Zale can break one real quick, and then hopefully we can see if our girl Valerie can take it out, and she can. Zale, what are you doing, dude? And I missed again. All right, 36 experience, three golds. I feel like gold is gonna be one of those things. Again, this is a blind playthrough, game just came out. I feel like gold is gonna end up being one of those uh, one of those things that we're gonna have to farm. Like, less so than any experience, you know? Anyways, looks like if we jump on these, they have a lever, and it doesn't seem like these are actually time-based uh, because we have these locking mechanisms here that seem to be, I don't know, getting the pillar down? Good for us. Look at, like, everything has movement to it. All of the pixels, the, the leaves are swaying, the plants, the mushrooms, the light is flickering. Each of our characters have a light as well, uh, emanating off of them, which is actually really beautiful. Looks like we can also get back down this way if we so choose. Why is this here, though? Doesn't it feel like maybe this should do something? Cause it sure as butts does not. So let's continue into the next room here. Look at, I mean, the music. Oh, the little, like, come on, it looks so good. I love how the ca characters go different ways. So Zale goes up against it. Just like subtle things like that, just make a big difference. Look at that, one of our first chests and we get one of our first pieces of equipment as well, the adventurer's vest. Let's go ahead and equip that on somebody right away. Uh, thir 30 adventurers agree. This vest is the best. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go ahead, we'll give that to, uh, We'll give that to Zale there. Hopefully Valerie is able to get something soon for herself. And we got some more of the, the slugs here. Loose, 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 loose. Whatever. And our first magic attack spike shower. Looks like I was able to reflect that maybe a little bit there. 
Let me know what you all are thinking of the series so far. I know we're only episode two in, but let me know. This is very early, so I do want to keep in some of these early battles. But as we go, I'll probably be eliminating, uh, f you know, from editing just some of these, some of these random encounters that we're getting into, just to just to kind of uh, help with the pacing here. So it looks like there's a block here. We're not going to worry about that right now. Instead, we're going to climb up here where we see a giant lock and a chest above that. It's locked. Maybe the key's in the chest just up there. It's out of reach for now. Let's look around. Okay. We'll head this way then. Looks like we're going to have to jump on this block to lower it. Which is going to raise the other... That is so cool. Again, these dungeons are going to start off pretty simple, it feels like, but I am sure that in no time they are going to become too confusing for me. We get a forbidden cavern key, so it looks like now we have to actually go and maybe flip this. Perfect. Back up, and then we can put the key in. Nice. Look at that. We are, oh, whoa. Okay, so it looks like we have a basket here. We found mushroom soup and we've recovered 40 HP, which is interesting. Zale and Valerie learned combo skill mending light. We did hear that we would find more scrolls on our, on our outings here and we also get a shiny pearl. I'm assuming we can sell that. What a great, like, I just, I can't get over how beautiful the game looks, y'all. Looks like we can head up here, go across that rope before dropping down. So that we can get yet another chest. I am hoping that this one has some equipment for us, and it does! A leeching thorn! Let's go ahead and see if that uh, normal attacks heal for 15% of damage done. Wow. Yeah, let's go ahead and give that to Valerie. Let's go ahead and give that to Valerie. I did end up changing. I went back, actually, when we leveled up. And I ended up giving them different attacks. Vale, uh, Zale actually took, instead of physical attacks, I gave him a uh, magic attack for his bonus on his level up. And for Valerie, I actually gave her a um, physical attack instead of magic defense. I feel like defense maybe is going to be useless. And we want, we want to be able to do a lot of damage, right? At least I do. All right, let's go ahead and see how much damage we can do to... Probably should have healed up a little bit before this, but that's okay. So we have a choice here. We can either negate one of these attacks entirely, or we can lower two of them. And I... I think what we want to do here is, yeah, we'll get rid of that one. We're able to heal for two damage there. Able to stop a little bit of that damage from coming. Let's go ahead and we can't do Mending Light just yet because we need two combo points. We could use our new Mushroom Soup, which will recover 40 HP for both of us, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Instead, what we can do is use Healing Light for the first time. Doesn't seem like it heals that much. Unfortunately, Valerie taken out, but we do know now that we don't really have to worry about that too, too much. Because once the star goes away, she'll actually respawn on her own. And with more health. Nice job, Valerie. And we'll get another spike shower here. Ouch. Oops. Actually, that's okay, because what I can do now, hopefully, is we can actually use the combo Mending Light. That was awesome. What the... What? That was so cool. <laughs> Yet again, only three gold. So it looks like each enemy drops one. And unfortunately, there was an item here that the slug dropped, but it, it seems to have clipped behind the... 
Oh no! I was robbed. I was robbed, y'all. I'm mad. I want my money back. Never mind, series over. I'm pissed. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this new song? Oh my gosh. The device is broken. We can't activate the bridge. Mm, there seems to be a detour through there to the left. Worth a shot. Ooh. Ominous, though. Ominous. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, like, squeeze through. Look at that. That is so cool. All right. So, we are... Oh, it, okay. So, this is a... The campfire feels cozy and warm. We can actually set up a camp here if we want. We can also save. I think, friends, we are about to come across our first ever boss. Why don't we go ahead and save here then? We do only have the three slots. If we hold L1, we can set up a camp here. And by doing that, we can actually talk to each other. The Elder Mist. I wonder what he looks like. We have to reach Wraith Island in time for the Eclipse, wherever that is. Wraith Island or the Eclipse? Interesting. And if we just do this and we rest, that will also bring us back to full health, full MP, all of that. So you don't want to use you don't want to use any of your snacks or anything. Uh, which is something that I was doing in the demo, is I was using my snacks and then resting. I didn't realize that resting would recover everything. All right, let's move forward. We got the the leeching thorn accessory on Valerie, and we have the adventurer's vest on our boy Zale here. Oh, who would have thought? Valerie? Sounds big. Get ready. Lavos, is that you? What? Oh, the music's so good! What is this boss slug? Boss slug the indomitable. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Let's kill him. We got this. Do you know who we are? We are the Solstice Warrior. I probably should have tried to block that. I wonder if there's, there's nothing else attackable here. I feel like we actually want to use some of our MP. The only reason I'm a little worried about doing that is in case we need to break a lock. Looks like sun damage does a lot to it. All right, girl, it's time to Moonerang. You got this, Valerie. Let's see what you do. Oh, I suck. Oh no! See, this is what I mean, y'all. This is what I mean. Unfortunately, acid bug bombs. Oh, it summons new ads. Okay, let's go ahead and kill those. Oh, dang, nice job, girl. Okay, not not bad so far, y'all. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. We do have Solstice Strike that we can use here. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh, a ton of damage out of that. Woo! Smoking us right now. We're gonna go ahead and healing light here on Zale. Look at this, friends. Our first real boss fight. I don't think word counts. We're gonna moon ring. Terrible. Woo! Block him with 11. Wondering if we need to heal up at some point using items, but I think we're going to be okay. A lot of damage coming out of these enemies. We're going to go ahead and actually attack here. Unfortunately, Moonerang not able to be used because we were out of MP. That's okay. So what we're going to do instead here is we're going to Sunball, which hopefully will be enough to kill them. Sure is. Look at that. 
ton of damage coming out of them. Look at this big attack, though, that we're going to have to now deal with from Boss Slug here. Looks like just more acid bugs coming out. That doesn't seem to be too big of a deal. Taking out two of them. Let's go ahead and get rid of this acid bug. Just before it destroys us. And, my friends, we do have a huge... Mending light that we can do here. Boss Slug's got three moons that he needs to do. Let's go ahead and Mending Light. This is awesome. I love how... I don't want to... Again, I don't want to say difficult. But you really need to plan on how you're going to deal with this stuff. And it's great. Alright, looks like we have one here now. What we're going to do is we're going to take this one out. We're going to use Sunball here. And hope that maybe, just maybe, this might be the end of Boss Slug. And it is! We get our first trophy, Boss Slugged. Look at that. I wasn't worried at all. 80 XP and a nice platform drops for us. Our first big one! <laughs> we did it! Looks like there's a way out over there. The mountain shouldn't be much further now. We did it, friends! Our first big boss fight. We can go in here. Oh, look at this! We get new 60 golds. And one adventurer's vest. Would have liked to have that a little bit before. That's fine, that's fine. We'll go ahead and give that to Valerie. So now we both have adventurer's vest. Good for us. We're the best. That was so cool. What a great boss fight. Can we all agree... <laughs> you, come on, put it in the put it in the in the comment. That was awesome. Uh, we can rest here if we so choose, but we're actually at full health, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, we're not going to worry about saving just yet either. Famous last words, Corey. Famous last words. Ah, so when we came in, very cool. So if we head down here, because obviously the way we have to go is the other side. Okay, so this is where the bridge was out. We can recreate the bridge back, though. Gee, we're so awesome. I doubt there's anything back, but just out of curiosity. Okay. All right, we're good. Let's go back the way we're supposed to go. Look at this beautiful bridge. I hope it stays there uh, so that we just always have, like, a shortcut through the Forbidden Cave here. Things are starting to move. I'm eager to see what these two can do. Eager and impatient, too. For now, we wait. Three, you know what to do. Who the hecka are they? And we're on a different part of the world map. Can we just... We're on a world map, y'all. It is 2023. And we are on a world map. So that's the Solstice Shrine. We're not going to worry about that. That's Mountain Trail. We're not going to worry about that one just yet either. Obviously, this way goes back to the Forbidden Cave. But if you look, we actually have some fish jumping. Does that mean we get a mini game right now? We're going to Sun Glow Lake, y'all. Holy smokes, the song that plays here. What are those? Hello? Hey there! Were you looking for anything in particular? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got... Valuable, meant to be sold. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Then, we have 86... 86 gold at the moment. Uh, we do have a tomato. We got a free tomato from defeating one of the slugs. I don't want to, you know, I don't know why, but uh, we're actually going to go ahead and sell just a, just a couple of those. And let's buy 
We can buy a squire sword or a copper staff. Uh, I think what we're going to do is not buy any of those. I think we're okay for now, friends. I don't really want to spend money just in case uh, we are given items for free. Like I said, this is a blind playthrough, so I don't really know uh, the details of, of certain things just yet. Hopefully I can find them out for all of you. As long as you're enjoying the series, you know. Let's go ahead and fish. So the way that fishing works is we throw a cast out and then we want to hit it right in the spot. And then you'll kind of see this, uh, we use X to reel and you'll actually see, there we go, we already got it. We get a nice old mana war. Uh, we can fillet it or we can release. I don't think there's any reason to release, so we'll fillet it. So this mini game is actually very simple. All we do is we hit X or whatever your controller has to cast our line. And then we hit X again when we want it to go to, when we want it to stop being cast. So if we hit X, the line just goes out. We hit it again to make it fall down uh, around where we want. It'll create a circle around it. Hopefully you have a fish in that area. And then you start reeling it in. You'll kind of see that the water changes and there's like a light blue section compared to the darker. That overlay area, that's the safe spot to reel. Anything outside of that, and you're actually going to put tension on your rod and eventually that line is going to break and you're going to lose the fish and have to start over. So you want to keep reeling it in. You just hold down X or whatever button it is for you and keep it in the overlay and you should be fine. But we were able to get this one no problem, and we get a Lunar Trout, which we are also going to fillet. Now, if we look at this sign, we will see that we got both the Lunar Trout and the Mana War, and it doesn't look like there's anything else here in the, uh, the fishing department. And there we go. We'll go ahead and fillet those. Now, we're going to want those so that we can prep them, make snacks, food, all of those recovery items. So I wouldn't really recommend buying much just yet. Uh, but if we look and see, we can actually sell each one of those that we get. So we get two fillets, that's two gold for each one that we cast. So if you were interested in farming or grinding or whatever, uh, that could be something that you do. You get one gold each time and hey, that's probably enough to afford the squire sword and the copper staff. So let's, uh, let's do it. Uh, we're not going to... We're going to hold on to our weapons because I'm unsure if there's going to be anything that we can do with them. There we go. That's going to be a much juicier, much juicier team we have there. You can see Valerie now, her attack went up to 20, which is a lot. And uh, our boy Zale, his magic attack actually looking uh, pretty good too with his physical looking. Uh, okay. Now, we don't need to buy an adventurer's vest because we already have two, even though I'm sure we're going to be getting a third character soon. And if you're looking to optimize it all while fishing, it does seem like you can actually cast out and then start reeling as long as you were near the fish. And the fish will actually start chasing you. So you get a little bit before the resistance in the minigame actually starts up. You can also stun the fish if when they jump, you time reel perfectly. Just like that, we're able to stun and reel it in relatively freely. And something that is very fortunate is once you have fished everything out of the the lake, pond, whatever, you can actually just leave and come back, and uh, they'll be here. They'll be they'll be refreshed and back. So you could theoretically keep doing this until you have all the gold you could possibly want. Ah. What a great mini game. All right, so after 16 hours of fishing, I am officially done fishing. Officially. Okay, I didn't actually, I didn't actually catch fish that long. Could you imagine? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, we're actually going to sell, uh, you know, just a couple, just a couple. We'll go ahead and have four of each. We have four seafood, four fish, and we're back up to 55 gold. So we can head out and continue on our massive sea of stars spanning journey here and i it's great it's great so obviously we have to go over to the shrine right the solstice shrine but what if we try to go to the mountain trail
All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Wait a minute, isn't this what we saw at the very beginning? Sure is, my friends. I really hope we'll get a chance to return to Moon Cradle after this. What if we're sent out into the world right away? Yeah, I don't know. I just wish Garl was here. We could certainly use some celestial willow jam to go with this awful bread. <laughs> the dream! Oh no. Celestial willow jam? Oh, look who it is! I got some right here, guys! I even picked some mushrooms. You won't believe this soup I'll make. What? Oh, and I found some herbs in the Forbidden Cavern? They'll do just right. Garl? What? You didn't really think I was going to let you go on an adventure without me, did you? Garl! Oh my... <laughs> it's so good to see you two again. You look so strong now. Hey, why didn't you show up for our departure? Are you kidding? There was absolutely no announcement. As soon as I heard everyone gather, I went to our hideout to pack my stuff, but you left so fast. Guys, I'm so pumped for this journey. I know all about survival now. Fishing and gathering and cooking and... What's wrong? You can't actually come with us. We just wanted to say goodbye. We're on duty now and it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> you can't mean that. We've always talked about how we'd all leave together after your training. Plus, I spent all those years practicing in our little cave. I'm ready. Look, I may not have any special powers like you do, but I'm built strong and I've been preparing. This here is my shield. I'll be a defensive fighter. No, a warrior cook. Oh yeah? Sure am. And I've been reading a lot, too. See, most of the monsters you're going to face won't even be Fleshmancer minions, which means anyone can fight them. Are you sure about that? Totally. You haven't seen any yet, have you? No, but I'll know when to step aside. Don't worry. Plus, you can't really travel the world with just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? That's, yeah. See? You need me. You just do your solstice warrior duty stuff, and I'll keep your bellies full. Carl. Deal? Okay, deal. Oh, I'm so happy. No way, this is awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll start the kettle. We have so much catching up to do. Carl, the warrior cook, joins the party. Look at that is so forking cute, y'all. Wow. Wow. And so apparently, after we meet this Elder Mist, we'll be able to use magic without using magic and be sent out into the world. That's all we've been told. I guess finding our own way is the final step of training. Our first assignment is to get to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. Wow, that's a lot. Your powers sound so cool, though. Can't wait to see them in action. So how about you, Carl? Oh, it was pretty uneventful, to be honest. All I did was train and learn the skills I thought would come in handy. Every single day I was hoping to see you come out. I'm sure glad no one told me it would take 10 years. Yeah, we missed you too. It's not fair that we were together and you had to do this on your own. Well, we're all together now, so it doesn't matter anymore. And I can't wait to explore the world. I want to taste everything. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Right? Uh-huh. So how much food did you pack? Uh, just enough for a few meals. It's better to travel light, and there's ingredients everywhere if you know to look. And who knows what we'll find? It's all part of the adventure. Why don't you try now, Zale? See that bush right there? It's full of juicy berries. All you have to do is pick them. But what about... Do you say anything? Feels so good to be with Garl again. Feels so good. See that bush? Full of juicy berries. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's pick them. We got six whole berries now, friends. Six whole berries. Perfect. Now we'll make some jam with the berries you picked. Just interact with the campfire. Get ready to cook. All right, let's do it. The campfire feels cozy and warm. Let's cook. We're going to make some berry jam. 
So all we do is we hold it down. This is going to bury jam gives five MP back. That's great. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, delicious. Delicious. See, you're a natural. We can eat that jam later when we need to heal up. Thanks for the tips, Garl. That's going to come in handy for sure. I ah, don't mention it. Hey, I'm ready for some sleep. Same here. Nothing but the stars above us. A sea of stars. I'm loving this life already. Garl, I'm really glad you're here. I was just about to say that. Me too, guys. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, good night then. Oh, they're so cute. Good morning. Y'all ready to go? I'm excited to see what this elder mist looks like. Should be straight up. Let's keep hiking. What was that noise? And we get Garl in our team. Well, maybe we should have grabbed a adventure vest for him regardless. And he has a cauldron lid, which is a makeshift weapon with sentimental value. What a cutie patootie he is. Uh, and he actually has some pretty good skills, including hurl, which he hurls an enemy to another position if possible, which is huge for us, because if you saw Sunball and Crescent Arc, uh, those things will hit if the enemies are adjacent. That's huge. And then Nourish throws a snack at a friend. It costs seven MP, but it is a huge heal, y'all. Huge, huge heal. Much better than our boy Zale's healing light. All right, so let's see about going this way. We're gonna actually see if we can run back to the world map now on this side of things. So this is where we came in when we had to choose between Valerie or, uh, or Zale at the very, very beginning of the first episode of the series. Well, friends, cool area, but no reason to go here, my bad. Okay. Well, pretend I didn't make that detour, and let's go see what else. There's a save point here that we could check out right away. And, you know, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, let's do it. We'll overwrite our first save of the game. Trails in the midst. Let's see what's in this cave here. It looks like we have a couple of enemies. Uh-oh, Garl, don't look at them. Don't look at them. These are the ones he lost his eye to. All right, looks like we do have a slashing weakness over here. We have a blunt. Oh no, watch your eye, Garl. And he also does blunt damage. And a lot of it. Beautiful. 23 experience, three more gold. That is three fillets worth, friends. Look at this. I, Y'all, I know I, I've said this a thousand times already in one episode, but my gosh, just absolutely beautiful. And actually, the the ability to climb and, and do all of that stuff is um, reminds me of one of the worst parts of Xenogears, but also just like the ability to do it was pretty cool. Being able to be in the robots and like jump up cliffs and all of that stuff. And we found an abacus. Uh, so this is actually a, oops. Um, so this is, it goes here in this slot, which is actually a party wide buff slot, if I'm not mistaken. So this displays non-boss enemies HP in combat. So we'll go ahead and give that to Garl here. But you'll notice that some of those are like party wide features, which is really cool. Party wide equipment, whatever you want to say. So everyone, when they go to attack, we'll be able to see the enemy's HP, not just Garl. So we'll go ahead and pop this ladder down where we can grab some wheat, it looks like. Pop this down. And this is actually where we were at the very beginning. Looks like we can... Yep, this is where we were. I don't think we can go over to that other side there yet where the water is. And then we could just use these as a little shortcut back up to where we just were. I feel like there's something there, but we can't actually interact with that just yet. Surely there's going to be some type of traversal thing that we can get. Oh, there's also potatoes there. I almost missed those. 
free potatoes. Looks like there's also a little hidden path here where we can grab another chest. This time, basic armor. See, I was right. We didn't need to buy. Oh, you can't equip that. You can. Predictable in a good way. Uh, let's go ahead and give that to Valerie. And we'll give our boy Garl the adventurer's vest. Our warrior cook friend. So cute. What a... Oh, shoot! What a, what a super cute moment, huh? All right, let's go ahead and see if we can... Avoid some of the damage there. Valerie's gonna come in. Knock out those. Woo, that is a lot of damage. Whoa, even more to Garl. But he'll be okay. 57 HP left on him. Let's go ahead and sunball here. Not quite enough damage to take it out. Woo! Spicy. Thirteen health left. Let's go ahead and attack. Nice. Beautiful job, Zale. Sixty-four XP from that. Looks like we got some, some, was that meat and milk? I, yeah, dairy. Useful to make dough and creamy dishes. And then meat, common protein that fills you up. Sweet, dude. Wow, look at that. I just, you know, <laughs> I can't, I can't help myself, okay? I can't help, whoa. That's a, is that a waterfall? Nice. See some more tomatoes. You can jump down here, grab those, and some bell peppers. So forking cute. Feels like there would be something over here, but. So pretty. What is, is that lettuce? Yeah, that's lettuce, all right. Those are enemies that I remember fighting in the demo, so I believe actually we're pretty close to the where the demo ended, actually. Or where the demo began, I mean. Ooh, that's fun. Can't jump down there. Can we jump down? No. Okay. It's like that would be Woo! <laughs> Whole new level of oh no, I'm gonna die, you know? I really, really enjoy the, like, outcroppings that you can, like, hide behind almost. So we're going to wait and see if we can get that. Oh, weren't able to. So these are new enemies. These are wanderers. We're going to go ahead and uh, let's see if we can healing light on Valerie here. And she's gonna go ahead and moonering. Oh shit. My bad. PK Thunder! Wow! That did a lot of damage. He's gonna go ahead and nourish himself here. Look at how cute his animations are. They're so good. They're so good. Looks like these are indeed weak to slashing damage. Physical damage in general, nice. See ya, Wanderers. 32 XP and we're able to grab uh, more berries, six more berries. Thank you, Wanderers. Knew there was a reason why we were fighting you. We get a nice little shortcut here. I do also thoroughly enjoy the fact that a lot of these pathways, at least so far, have little shortcuts that allow you to, uh, you know, backtrack, do more traversal stuff without without really wasting your time as a player. It's a pretty big deal. And I, I keep like checking, like, there's is there something over here? There's gotta be. There's gotta be. 
I'm gonna world first. I'm gonna find something stupid because I'm checking every nook and cranny. Like I said, got to do it. Hey there, were you looking for anything in particular? So uh, another merchant that seems to sell almost the same stuff, except also sells a apple uh, day, which cures KO and 50% HP, which is pretty nice. Uh, we can also cook it if we so wanted to with potatoes and onions, which looks like it would actually be uh, eight. So it is cheaper to buy the. Nope, oh, it's about the same price, regardless if you bought the onions or whatever else. Um, so we're actually not going to worry about getting that right now. Uh, I might end up regretting that later, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and set up a camp. Because at a camp, we can probably still talk to this merchant, which is cool. Uh, but we can also talk to our friends. So let's talk to Valerie. Feels so good to be with Garl again. So I, I think she's going to say the same things that she's been saying. We have to reach Wraith Island. What about Garl, though? Zale, I'm so glad we're finally all back together. Don't forget to prepare snacks for the road. All right. And if we switch to Valerie, surely he's just going to say the same thing. Yep. Okay, well, doesn't really change much being able to switch characters there, but it's still a cool thing that you can do. So let's go ahead and see what we can cook with what we have. So we can make a roast sandwich, thin slices of meat, and a crispy baguette. Look how delicious that looks, y'all. Herbed fillets, uh, basic salads, boring but healthy. Uh, unbeatable when the tomatoes are just right. And some berry jam. Let's go ahead and make one of these real quick. Right? And then I also think I want to make one of these sandwiches. 60 HP is quite a bit. Look at... Oh, oh my. Stop it. Holy smokes. I'm so, Oh, my God. Wow, I'm so hungry now after seeing that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let's make a herb filet, too. Because... Oh, jeez, Louise. Wow. Absolutely delicious. We can actually only make 10 snacks, so you can actually only hold 10 snacks at a time. So we're going to leave a slot free. And uh, don't forget, do not eat when you're at a camp. You just want to cook. You don't want to eat anything. And then we'll rest. And we can go ahead and throw out another save here, folks. And continue on our journey here through the mountain trail. They threw a save point, a camp, and a merchant at us. And uh, I feel like... Like any good RPG, that means trouble on the horizon, maybe. All right, that is an enemy team right there. Let's go ahead and sunball here right in the middle. Check out my extra large spirit bomb. Oh, that deleted those. Wow. Those enemies got nothing on us, friends. 40 experience for that. We picked up a bone. What the hell are we going to use a bone for? Is that an ingredient? Yeah. Starting point of most dishes involving sauce. Oh, they're like... Oh, that's like hardcore. You can also jump into ponds if you, if you want. I don't... Whoa. Sure. Oh, cool. Well, that's worth it. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you actually want to see most of the combat because it doesn't necessarily feel like random, like obviously random encounters aren't a thing. You can see the enemy on the field. So, uh, oh, and we got a level up, level three already. We're cruising here, team. We have just like before, another bonus to do here. Uh, and I think the way that we actually want to do this is I think mana is actually going to be one of those things that is inconsequential. And the only reason I say that is because we only get one mana per level up. And I feel like we're better off putting those points somewhere else. For instance, Zale would probably be better off uh, putting maybe points into physical defense or uh, magic defense here. Eight health, eight hit points also seems like quite a bit. 
but I don't want to worry too much about getting that because I feel like armor and everything else will do that for us. Something that is worth mentioning is that when you level up and you pick a bonus stat, that will not be offered again your next level up. So keep that in mind. Like I can't just spam mana every single time I level up. I have to I have to choose something else because it literally won't pop up. Uh, we don't have physical attack or magic attack here. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to do magic defense. And our girl Valerie getting a level up here. We are also going to give her... She seems to be more of like a physical attacker, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give her plus three physical defense. And girl, our warrior cook is gonna take uh, magic attack probably isn't the worst idea for him either. We're gonna give him physical defense. And I wouldn't stress too much about the bonus points. I mean, you can kind of build them however you want, right? One thing that I just... One of the ways that I play RPGs is I'm not a big fan of shoring up my weaknesses. I'm a fan of making my strengths stronger. We get two shiny pearls. We could sell those. So, in this instance, Zale feels more like a magic user than a physical attacker. I, I Or, like, maybe he's a more of a mixed attacker, whereas Valerie feels like more of a physical attacker. So, I want to focus on Zale's magic and Valerie's physical. While not neglecting anything else too, too much. Oh, barely even saw that you could climb back up there. Nice. Thought we were going to have to hop all the way back down. Look at that. That is awesome. Even more importantly, look at that. A recipe for tra, 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 cha, Chad, Chad, Chadry. I, I don't, Chad, Chadry? Don't, listen, I don't know. Chadry or Chadry? Ram! All right, we got this. Nice job. And one thing that I need to get used to a little bit more often is I do feel like the ability to use, a, uh, uh, like, using your MP is a good idea. Woo! 31 damage. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and nourish on Valerie here. Nice. Go ahead and get a nice gash in there. And let's hope that she's able to... Beautiful. Finish up the fight. Wow, it takes a lot more XP to level up. Good to know. Good to know that grinding XP doesn't really feel like a thing in this game. In fact... Actually, I don't even know if enemies reset when you leave. Uh, I'm sure they do. That would be very strange if not. All right, let's see if we can. Ah, I tried to get an early attack there. Didn't really work out. We're going to go ahead and sunball here. We want to actually attack. Oh, he's just out of range. Just out of range. So instead, what we're going to do is we're... Oh, he's out of skills. Okay. And we'll go ahead and finish him off. He's got 20 health. Deleted. Down goes the ram. This guy's going to attack the wanderer. He's going to attack Valerie. And Valerie said, I don't care. I got this. 72 XP and we get a bunch more berries and some meat to go with those. You know, for berry meat. Looks like we can actually hop down here. See if there's anything a little hidden, maybe? Kind of see the fog move. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Is 
Doesn't seem like there's anything down here, though. You never know. You never know. Uh, let's go ahead and actually jump back up there because we are missing this here. And this leads us back down to where we were. This is where we came up. I really, really love the uh, the map design so far, y'all. The verticality is actually a really big, really big deal to me. All right, and we, looks like we can't actually jump back up there. Interesting. I just wanted to see if we could. Great. We got some more lettuce. Potentially need to heal up soon, but whoa. I also really like how many times they walk across a ladder or uh, a rope like that. All right, let's go ahead and switch to Valerie who, oh no. Uh, what we'll do instead then is we will switch to, I'm gonna use Berry Jam on our girl Valerie here. And then she's gonna use Moonerang to hopefully negate this lock. Nice job. Beautiful. Gosh, the combat is so good, y'all. It feels so good. I said this in my first impressions video, but really, this is turn-based at its best. Keeps you on your toes, keeps you engaged. It's just, it's just wonderful. So we're gonna wait before going in there. Although, maybe. Hmm. You know, I'm feeling like maybe we should go into whatever that is over there first. Maybe this isn't just an extra area. Maybe it's a boss or something that's going to try to kill me. Or maybe this is. What could this be? Or we just don't know yet. Interesting. Ooh. I must know everything. Looked like it had like purple, purple magic around it of some kind. None of us have purple magic. Can't climb up there. Oh, ho, ho. are you the Elder Mist? It sure is misty up here. Oh, ho, ho. Two children of the solstice have come for their rite of passage. But I also sense one who does not belong here. Uh. Is he brave or foolish? Oh, ho, ho, let's find out. Oh my God. Welcome young adventurers to this sacred pond. Nice to meet you, Elder Mist. My name's Carl. <laughs> my, what a gregarious one you are. Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation, but its rites are not meant for the common folk. Uh... Children of the solstice, step forward. Ho ho ho. Oh ho! Oh. It seems you show great potential indeed. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Elder Mist. Then come closer and let them be imbued by the sacred pond's magic. Oh, a tremendous resonance. Wear them with purpose, for they will augment your innate magic. You shall henceforth have light in the darkest places and protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. I don't feel any different. 
Yeah, me neither. Oh, rest assured, the ability to use magic without using magic has taken root in you indeed. What does that even mean? And how does it work? It arises from need. In the many battles that await you, victory will often demand the use of more offensive magic than one can sustain through spells alone. That is why attunement to live mana is paramount. Live mana? Oh, oh, oh. It allows your attacks to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth. And judging by the resonance you create, this power should even extend to your traveling companions. Oh, that's me! You are ready. Live mana will start manifesting for you the next time you enter battle. Are you ready for your final test? Elder Mist, I'd like to go with them. Hmm. Oh, oh. The Elder Mist trials have never been undertaken by anyone but aspiring Solstice warriors. But I want to go with them, please. Interesting. You are the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. Hmm. It sure is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat, but the warmth of his heart, could he bring it back? Hmm, perhaps we should try to find out. I will allow it. All right, thanks, Elder Mist. Consider it a test of your ability to act as a companion to Solstice Warriors. I won't fail. We are ready. Then close your eyes and take a deep breath. Welcome to the Elder Mist Trials. To pass this final test, you must bring three big relics together by completing their associated challenges. The monsters that will try to stop you are immune to physical attacks, and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. What? How then? Oh, 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 that is why you must use magic without using magic. Live mana can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attack. Embrace this power, and your training will be complete. Whoa, I have to try that! The trials await! Should you wish to return for a while, simply close your eyes and concentrate next to where you just appeared. Godspeed! The Elder Mist Trials. They look excellent, and it sounds like we're going to be able to use live mana, whatever that is. Return to Mountain Trail? Sure! No? Yes! What happens if we do that? He's like, you failed! You're dead! There's this thing here, a bridge that we can't use, other stuff. So I'm guessing that we get the ability to use live mana and then we'll be able to go other places. Up here we get some wheat and some potatoes. Nice. Friends! My glorious, beautiful friends! We have a save point here. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Sea of Stars. We'll be back uh, right, probably soon. When we come back, episode three, we'll, we'll undertake the Elder Mist Trials. We'll hang out with Garl. We'll finish the Mountain Trials, see what else awaits us. Uh, Y'all, I'm loving this game so far. I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for watching. A huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres of these videos every, hopefully every single day at around 2, 3 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you. Don't forget, likes, comments, all of that stuff sincerely helps these videos out. Uh, let's, I'm, I'm loving this, and I hope you are too. So let's keep it going, baby. Let's keep it going. Huge shout out to Sabotage Studios as well for making just an exquisite game. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender. Goodbye, nerds.